I like to imagine that there were more of us in the beginning. Not many, I suppose, but more than there are now. We are the minority the world does not accept. Not outside of fantasy, and even that's blacklisted. We look like everyone else. Sometimes we act like everyone else. We are everywhere, on every street. We live in a way you might consider normal, provided you don't look too hard. Not all of us know what we are. Some of us die without ever knowing. Some of us know, and we never get caught. But we're out there. Trust me. In a futuristic city, clairvoyance is illegal. Paige Mahoney shouldn't even be alive. She commits a crime every time she breathes. She is a dream walker. Her powers are rare and envied. She can sneak into other people's minds without even moving her body. She can even control people if she tries to. But she's always on the run from the law. Always. One night, on a train, she unintentionally kills an underguard who is searching for voyance. She is transported to a place known only to prisoners, Sheol One. It is a high security complex supervised by the Refame, a brutal alien race. She is informed by the authoritarian Nashira that clairvoyants are brought to Sheol every 10 years to fight off the foreboding, terrifying Emim. These gatherings are known as Bone Seasons. How will she cope? With the terrible Emim, a cruel, merciless ruler, and the looming chance of death. Her carer, Warden, begins to sneak into her vision more and more often. Does she love him? Will she and her friends be spared by merciless Nashira? And how will she escape the bone season?